San Lucia government must prepare the financial statements in accordance with international standards. Right? Over 46 accountants representing all government agencies converged at the Finance Administrative Center in Point Seraph in Castries for a four-day seminar spanning May 30th to June 2nd, 2023. The seminar, organized by the Accountant General's Department, seeks to update the knowledge and skills of government accountants to the International Public Service Accounting Standard, or IPSAS. Accountant General Matthew Branford highlighted that the government runs the largest budget within the country, for which his department is mandated to produce accurate financial statements. Which means that we have to report a balance sheet, a profit and loss statement, a statement of, of, of equity of the government, and list down all of the the loans and so on, the status of the loans and payables of the government. So we're actually moving into this um, new standard called International Public Sector Accounting Standard, which is the recognized standard of the world when it comes to public accounting. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Finance, Francis Fontenelle, welcomed the three facilitators from the World Bank while stressing that public sector financial reporting must consistently seek to keep abreast with international best practices. But there's always the need for us to review what we do because we are not totally diverse or divulge from the private sector. And that is what the reason for us being here today. The International Public Sector Accounting Standards Board have been revising their standards and it is incumbent on us in the, private, in the public sector sorry, to ensure that we are up to date with, 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 with the standards. Practice manager, governance financial management with the World Bank, Joseph Kizitu Mubiru, noted that high quality, reliable financial information enabled by international public sector accounting standards is critical to enable the World Bank to achieve its objectives to eliminate extreme poverty and promote shared prosperity. Promoting the adoption of uh, uh, IPSAS for us means that uh, our support to governments to achieve all these objectives is facilitated. Reliable information produced by the Accountant General and on which the Director of Audit provides assurance, that is the quality, that is what makes the quality of financial information. And it is such information that helps governments select optimal policy choices to address citizen needs, it helps governments to choose the most sustainable public investments in infrastructure, health and education. It promotes the efficiency of government expenditures and reduces leakages and wastage of public funds. It also helps to hold officials accountable for the management of those public funds. Four years ago, Government's chart of accounts was changed to conform to the new budget requirements and to provide greater transaction details and source coding of the various transactions of government. So the new chart of account has been designed specifically to accommodate the presenting of the financial statement in accordance with the IPSA standard of, of reporting financial information. And we have to be accountable and we have to be transparent. International PFM consultant Arnold Ainsley is the main facilitator for the seminar that introduces accountants to topics such as trends in public sector reporting, strategic overview of IPSAS, and transitioning of IPSAS accrual basis, among other topics. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.